Ramon Grau San Martin, president-elect of Cuba, arrives in Washington for conferences with President Roosevelt, met by the Cuban ambassador to the United States. Dr. Grau, scholar as well as national leader, was formerly a professor at Havana University. Secretary of State Cordell Hull extends an official welcome to the Cuban president-elect, whose visit symbolizes the close ties between Cuba and the United States. Another distinguished guest is Dr. Wellington Koo, China's ambassador to Great Britain, who will represent China in allied post-war security conferences at Dumbarton Oaks, Washington. Australian fishermen prepare to set out after a big school of tailor fish off the coast of Queensland. Nets, large, strong, and well-mended, are at hand, and there's the school. The fishermen push out to sea. Veterans say this is the greatest catch in many years, with 10,000 of the swarming, hard-to-handle tailor fish as the estimated haul. This one puts up a fight, but it's no use. The nets come back bulging with a record catch, food from the sea for the war workers of Australia. Somewhere in the South Pacific, former cowboys and experienced horsemen of the United States Marines participate in a roundup of jungle cattle. They're helping to improve the Marines' daily field ration with fresh meat from cattle brought to the island by plantation owners before the war and now running wild. The cowboy Marines roam the island driving in the steers. These men have been temporarily relieved from combat and are spending their rest period on the island. The cattle are driven into stockades. More than 2,000 head were available. Some of the steers are real Texas Longhorns, famous breed of the American Southwest. Six thousand pounds a day is butchered and prepared by the Marine Commissary section. No longer wholly dependent on tinned rations, Marines have fresh beef for dinner, a rare treat in this part of the world. At a nearby airfield, the capture of Michinaw is plotted by American and Chinese officers as an air attack is mounted. This is one of the heavy air blows that helped drive the Japanese from Michinaw after a 78-day siege. capture of this important communication center is a major step forward in the Burma campaign. General Stilwell, American commander, 
is greeted by General Merrill, jungle raider leader, at Ceylon, where he confers with Lord Lewis Mountbatten, chief of the Southeast Asia operations on new Allied battle plans.